Hello, this is Geo Techlin, and today I'm going to be doing a review on the Foliate ebook viewer. Foliate is a GTK based app that you can get on Flatpak or as a snap. And to put it simply here, it is a very nice looking and simple ebook viewer. When you open up the app, the very first thing you'll see is your library. And so, as you can see here, I've added uh, some books and magazines here. And if you wanted to add your own EPUB file, for example, you can always click this plus sign here. It's going to search for ebook files, or you can click all files if you'd like. And then there's this catalogs section here that's going to load different links to different websites where you can download some ebooks. So by default, it looks like they have standardbooks.org. And then there's feedbooks and then there's also the project gutenberg website alternatively you can also add your own catalog but for now i'm just going to use one of these defaults here for some reason i couldn't get standard ebooks to work i would click open and try to load one of these uh options and well it looks like it works now so i think it's usually like issues with the websites here you can see some books and even the interface when you're browsing through these books looks very nice. And so let's see the age of reason. Ooh, I think I read this book by Thomas Paine before. This one's a free download. You can click the drop down arrow if you want different options. And it opens up right away. By default, it has this light theme, but if you hover over here and click the three dots, you'll see that you got plenty of options here. You can change the spacing, the margins, the width, and then you have the theme. And for the theme, you get lots of options. You can go sepia, you can go gray, dark, inverted, which makes it like pure black here. And you have these solarized options. And then there's a Nord option here. I'll probably keep it at dark. I feel like this is like perfect level. And then you can even add your own custom theme with your own background. So let's do coffee. let me okay i can pick my own color so i want the background to be like this kind of coffee dark and then the text color let's make it white link color i'll just keep it as blue so that's cool and then if you go to advanced you can change the layout make it single column scrolled continuous Pretty much a bunch of options here. You can adjust the brightness. And of course, you can also change the font here. And even change the zoom levels. And then if you click preferences, you'll have even more options from open the last open file on startup by default. Change the location of the left and right footers and open images on single click or double click or middle click. But for now, let's go back to our library. And even here in the library interface, you can see the percentage of what you've read in these books. And you can even change from a grid view to a list view here. The other cool thing is that you can select words and highlight them. And then on the left, top left here, you'll be able to go back to these words and or to these highlights. And then you can delete them like that. To bookmark the page, you'll have to click here as well and go to this bookmark section and either add or delete a bookmark here. Now, when you double click a word, you can also look up in a dictionary. The weird thing is that it kind of seems like this dictionary feature is inconsistent because it seems to work on this book. But if I go back to the library and I open up this EPUB, for the Jacobin magazine. And I also click look up in dictionary. It doesn't actually find a definition. So that's interesting. I mean, they're both EPUB files, so I'm not sure how this works. And the other thing too, is that like in one instance, when I switched to the light theme here, it just crashed for no reason. I mean, it seems like sometimes it will work if I just keep trying and am persistent enough. So that might be something that may need to be looked at. But otherwise, I think for the most part, this app works very well. I also think that especially the customizations you have when reading a ebook here 
I think it has all the features you need. I remember my first experience with an ebook reader was the Amazon app and it had all these features of changing the size, the changing the single column view, changing to a dark theme. And it's really nice to see a open source Linux project with all those same features. The real thing to think about here is that as much as I like this app and I like that it's available as a flat pack, I don't see myself using this on a desktop PC. I think the ideal device to read books like this are going to be phones and tablets. And since this is a very GNOME friendly or GTK friendly design, it's also an app that it's going to work well on tablets and phones. So if I shrink this, this is how it'll look on mobile. And what this makes me think about is imagine seeing this app working on a Linux mobile phone, especially when using the GNOME based Foshed mobile UI. I see this app being very essential. So maybe it won't be long before this app is ported to ARM devices and to work very well on Linux smartphones. You go to the About Foliate, you'll see it says it's a simple and modern ebook reader. You can go to the website, which has a very nice looking website actually. And the one interesting thing though is that I don't see a donate or support button here. Of course, it has a GitHub page here, but I didn't see a way to even financially sponsor this project. It'd be nice if they did have a way to support them because I really like this app. But let me know your thoughts. Do you read books on your desktop computer? Are you excited about this project? Maybe working on a Linux smartphone? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. And if you like my video, please like, share, subscribe, and I will see you all next time. If you're enjoying my content, you can subscribe to me on YouTube, PeerTube, follow me on Odyssey. You can also support me on LiberaPay, Patreon, and by shopping at Earth Hero. See links in the description below.